Is Aang a candidate for the Mets manage, uh, general manager job? I'm sure the Mets would wish she was a candidate for their general, general manager job. But frankly, if I'm Kim Aang, why would I go to that? Why would I go to that situation? You're in a position where David Stearns is going to be calling the shots, and you have to work underneath him. Now, Jeff Passan had a report that the same issue that that was the same issue she was confronted with at the Marlins. You do all this work. You take the tenth lowest payroll in baseball. You bring them to the postseason for the first time since 2003 in a 162 game season. Uh, you were you're able to acquire talent. You're able to build work for within. And now you're going to the Mets where someone else is going to tell you to do your job. She is talented enough. She has done enough where she should be the one taking the lead here. And I think that's that's where she's going to want to go. I, I agree with you, Laura, that she is. She has earned that right. And if the Marlins were smart, what they would have done is, if they wanted a, 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 a head of baseball operations, they would have given her that number one position, which she basically held for the Marlins beforehand, and hired someone underneath her. Uh, you know, that said, I don't think that this this takes her out of a run for at the Mets general manager job just because those jobs are precious and I feel like this was more of a Marlins issue than I mean the Marlins aren't exactly an exemplary franchise I mean let's be quite honest here it, Kim did a great job of getting a low payroll team into the playoffs she had a brilliant trade deadline where she added what they needed in offense and she doesn't deserve to get this as her sort of reward for a season well done but I, I don't believe that she should uh, you know, put away other opportunities, even if they are GMs, because there are so few of those gigs around the game. And I, I think this is more of a Marlins problem than a, a, a problem of working for someone. Because look, uh, you know, the, the Marlins have Derek Jeter doesn't work Marlins there anymore. Stink. Yeah, they, they I mean, don't the know owner. So the owner may be an issue here, and that may be what we're we're seeing right. with Kim. Yeah, it's, it's the Marlins' loss and everybody else's gain, right? Because this is a woman who is so qualified for this kind of job. And I do agree with you, Laura. I do think what's tough is that she was the boss there. She did a great job. And not just the trade deadline, don't forget, right? In the offseason, Luisa Rice came to Miami. She gave up Pablo Lopez to the Twins. That's a huge deal. That's a bold trade. That's a big deal for her. And so in this position, 30-plus years in the game, she's from Queens, right? She's from New York, Long Island area. She worked in New York at the commissioner's office. I got to work with her. So if she wants to be back in New York and she wants the job and she wants to work under David Stearns, then yeah, I do think it's a fit for her. But this woman is overqualified. If the Mets want her, they better go to her home and beg her to take this job because she has You're plenty big of... You're with that. Like yeah, knocking on the go, door. You gotta, you <laughs> listen, bring pizza really to work. It's really personable, right? Like when you go to their door and right. you're like, or terrifying. Or terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, what are you doing here? Here's well, one thing, though. I understand what, Laura, what both of you guys are saying about the fact that she should be calling the shots. However, in New York, now I don't know this for a fact, but I'm assuming she wasn't getting paid what she should be getting paid from the Marlins, who are known for not, you know, being freeing with their money is the nice way to say it. If, if the Mets were to hire her to be their general manager, she's probably going to be making more and be in New York. It's a New York franchise. She was already an Chal assistant general manager with the Yankees. In she's not going to be an assistant general I, manager. I understand, but she's already been in New York. She's had the pressure. She's been in the lights. She worked for the Dodgers, the but White But if she's Dodgers, making more money Yankees. as the Mets general manager than other teams' president of baseball operations, that, and she's going to have a voice, that wouldn't be good enough. She deserves I want her, that. I she want her with that. the Mets. I think she's a great asset to any front office. The Mets have the money to build a power front office. They have an opening. They should go try to get that done if she would be open to coming here.